Hi, my name is Lily and today I want to show you four knots which are very useful for survival. Stay tuned. Okay, first of all, I want to start with the Canadian jam knot, which I have used for uh, attaching this wool blanket here to the pack. Okay, the first knot that I want to show you is the Canadian jam knot. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this red cordage here so you can see it better. First of all, I'm going to take the end of the line and then I'm going to make a simple overhand knot into the line, just like so. And after that, I'm gonna make a second overhand knot a, li a little bit down below the first overhand knot, but I don't uh, tighten it down yet. And then I'm gonna take the line and thread it through the D rings of my rucksack here and go around. Okay, now I come back from down under, and then I'm gonna uh, take this tag end and uh, go through the second knot that we made before and I come in from underneath just like that okay okay so now what we are going to do is is we are going to cinch everything down very tight just like that and this is a jam knot so the first knot acts like a stopper knot and if you want to open it again, you just pull on this tag end here, upwards. And it's very easy to open up this knot again. Yeah, so the Canadian jam knot is one of my favorite knots. I have to say that I always had troubles with attaching sleeping bags and wool blankets to my pack. But with this knot, it's super easy, it's uh, very fast. It holds and it's easy to open again. When it comes to survival, it sometimes, you know, uh, can happen that you come across a river or a lake where you can fish. And if you're lucky, you have some hooks with you. But uh, do you know how to attach the hooks to your fishing line? Okay, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use the stick here, which is supposed to be the fishing hook. And I'm gonna set it on my rucksack. And then I take my red line here, which is supposed to be the fishing line. And I take my end and lay it on the fishing hook. Gonna come back to create a loop. And then I take the tag end and go around the fishing hook. Just like so, five times. Four. Five. And then I'm gonna come back through the loop here. And then the knot looks like this. And I'm gonna pinch down the tag end and pull at the longer end. So in the end, the knot should look like this. And what I just did is I was slipping it off, but usually that can't happen because every hook has either a flat space or an eye. The next knot that I want to show you is the clove hitch, which you can use for trapping, for example, for attaching a line to a toddler. The clove hitch works like this. You just take your rope and put it around an object, like this toggle here. And then you go around the object and go across the first line, just like so. And then you come back from behind again and you want to feed the tag end through the loops that you created. Just like that. And this is how the clove hitch should look like. Okay, situation has changed. Maybe you have to go down a cliff 
and everything you have with you is a good amount of rope and a harness and a carabiner okay so we have our rope here and I have my harness on and I do have a carabiner but mostly I have styled myself with a belay device like this one here but you know sometimes you lose these things or you even forget to bring a belay device with you could you upsell yourself with just a carabiner? Well, today I'm gonna show you a hitch which is called the Mantar hitch, which you can use for upselling with a carabiner. Okay, first I'm gonna attach the rope to this tree here. Next, I'm gonna throw off the rope of the slope here. I take my rope here and I'm gonna click it into the carabiner. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of rope which comes from the tree and I'm gonna go underneath the other rope and click a loop into the carabiner again. So now the knot looks like this, the mantis hitch. With the mantis hitch I can upsell myself just like you know any other uh, belay device. Yeah, so these were one of my favorite knots that I use for survival. And yeah, I want to thank you for watching. If you want to, you can check out these videos here. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Stay tuned till next time. Bye.